Hey there, I am back with another deck review, and today I'm going to be looking at the Regalia playing cards from Shin Lim. And you probably already know Shin Lim, but if you don't, he is one of the most talented card magicians in the world. Amazing sleight of hand. He really burst onto the scenes uh, nationally after winning America's Got Talent a couple years back. But he's been doing just amazing magic for years. So if you've never seen his magic, go check out some of his videos. It's, it's really worth checking out. But this is one of his several decks of playing cards. And I would say probably his nicest one. So let's jump into it and take a look. The name Regalia refers to uh, kind of all things excellence, luxury, think regal. And the tuck case is just a matte black tuck case. It actually comes in a couple different parts. So we're looking at a tuck sleeve here. Uh, but it's a matte black paper covered in embossed gold foil. And the paper, I don't know if this is an artifact of the production process or just the design of the paper, but you can see there's just a really slight shimmer to it. So you'll see some just little flecks of gold uh, just reflecting off in there, but it gives it a little bit of a nicer look to it. Uh, the design is fairly simple. It just says Regalia Luxury Playing Cards. We've got the crown and the suits there. And then the double-headed eagle. So the design of this deck and this double-headed eagle is really inspired a lot by Russian art. And so this double-headed eagle you'll see a lot in Russian art and propaganda. Uh, so that's where that comes from. And then you have a simple double gold border around the edge. Very slight embossing because it a really, really nice look to it. Very clean, very elegant. As you turn to the sides of the sleeve, one side says produced by Shin Lim and designed by Nick Vlau. Other side, same thing. And then the, the uh, back of the sleeve here just has a big SL for Shin Lim with kind of this uh, necktie going down the middle as a divider. So very nice on the tuck sleeve. Now you have this little handle up here little ribbon that you can use to pull the inner tuck out. So kind of an interesting little touch. Gives it an interesting shape or uh, functionality to the tuck. But there's the uh, tuck sleeve. And then your inner tuck, you're going to have more gold foiling on it, more very slight embossing. So you got the double-headed eagle and gold foil on one side. There's that produced by Shin Lim and designed by Nick Vlau. And then a foiled version of the back of the cards there. Bottom of this one has Shin Lim Magic and then Nick Vlau's logo over here on the right. And then you have those uh, kind of floral patterns with the large R in the center on the top. That's it. That is the inner tuck. Comes a little notch there to make it a little bit easier to pull the cards out. And we will get into those and you can already see a little bit of the gold. So there's the uh, the inner tuck and the outer. Really creative, unique. It's a little bit hard to put together. It's a little bit finicky. But once you get it all together, really, really nice. So there's your sort of double tuck. All right, let's get to the cards. And we'll start with the back design. And here it is. You can already see the glint of that foil. It's a really impressive back design. You can see the glow. You can probably see some of the reflection in there. Uh, but really beautifully done. Have the... Uh, double-headed eagles on either side, and then a large pattern with just layers of floral patterns, leaf work, just kind of radiating out from here, and then vine work spiraling all the way around to finish this out. Have the uh, double wings here on either side as an extra little touch. And then in the background, you can see just small little lines which give it this sort of texture to the back of the card. So rather than being a solid black, you give it a little bit extra texture. Uh, finished out with a thin gold border and then a thin white poker border for this just really magnificent looking back to the cards. The foiling is done beautifully. It's very clean. The deck still handles very well with it and it just gives an incredibly luxurious feel uh, to the decks just looking at the backs of these cards. So phenomenally done there. So that is the back design. You do get some extra cards as well. So the two jokers are going to be fairly simple, just going to feature a black and white design with the uh, with the double headed eagle, a little bit of texture there to form a circle kind of behind them. So they're the double headed eagle in a circle, but really beautiful. And then it just has the R for regalia in the corners. 
There's your two identical jokers. And then you get a couple of gaff cards. You get a duplicate queen of spades and a blank face card. Now, if you look at Shin Lim's kind of most famous routine, he actually uses both of these gaff cards. So he uses a queen of spades and a blank facer. He actually has a queen of spades tattooed on his chest and uses that in the routine. So he has one where he apparently sort of rubs the, the queen of spades onto his chest and then reveals that the queen of spades is gone and now it's tattooed on his chest. And he makes use of both these gaff cards as part of that overall trick. So the two gaff cards, nice nod to his routine there, but also functional gaff cards that you can use. All right, now let's get into the rest of the deck. Uh, now the deck is gonna come in a custom stack and this is one that Shin Lim put together himself. It's not the typical Mnemonica stack that you see a lot of decks come in now. Uh, it is his own custom stack. And really the main difference here is he stacked the aces on the bottom and the top of the deck. So you have the ace of spades on the top, the other three aces on the bottom. It's kind of a useful stack for certain mentalism tricks where you want to really easily be able to get access to the aces in the deck. So you can get a full set of aces. So it's easy enough to flash the middle of the deck, show that it's random, but then quickly palm off the aces uh, to use in your routine in some way. So that... Nice little addition there, a little something different with the stack order of the cards, so it'll come that way right out of the box. Uh, but the cards themselves are mostly gonna be pretty bicycle standard. Uh, the one really custom card that you get is gonna be the Ace of Spades. Features the large spade pip with just little bits of line work and flourishes going all the way through. Large R in the center, regalia at the bottom. Uh, but the rest of the deck is gonna have pretty standard pips indices pips in the center uh, you're going to have some slight customizations to kind of clean up and modernize the pips a little bit a little bit more rounded on the heart thinner st stem on the uh, bottom of the club for example thinner stems on the spades as well but it's all going to be kind of minor variations and fairly familiar to anybody who's looked at a bicycle deck uh, you do get a nice recoloring done on the court cards Hits of gold metallic ink added all the way through, paired with the red and the black, gives it a just a really luxury feel to it. Love the look of it. You have the gold in the clothes, the hair, and even the lines of the face are done in gold. Uh, really gives it a nice look to it. I love a really well done recoloring of standard quartz, and I think this is one of the best that's done here in the Regalia deck. Rest of the deck, though, is by design going to be fairly standard. Shin didn't want a deck of cards that was too highly customized and something was going to just sort of distract from a magic routine. And so he kept the faces all fairly standard uh, in that regard. Uh, so I think it's a good choice on this one. Keeps it a very, very functional deck. And there's plenty of other touches from the foil and the back design uh, that really just sort of elevate this deck. So I think it was a really nice design choice on this one all the way through. Uh, so that is the cards. Like I said, the rest of them are going to be fairly standard. Now, the one thing I'll call attention to is thinking about that back design and the hot foiling that was done in the back design. There are definitely some cards where that hot foiling kind of affected the face of the card. Now, see if I can show it here. It's a little bit hard to see, but you can see where some of that design sort of flashes through to the front. I don't know if you can make that out there in the light. Let me see, it's maybe a little easier to see here on the blank face card. So this is meant to be a completely blank card, but you can see where the design just sort of pressed through. Uh, kind of wish that hadn't happened. I know Carter Mundy's done some other decks where that's not necessarily the case, uh, but it did happen on these, and you can see it on a lot of the different cards. Doesn't really impact it too much, but something I thought I'd call attention to. So that's it. Uh, that is the look at the deck. What would I use this for? Uh, I think it's a great deck just to have on a shelf really shows well. It's really going to find its home as a uh, magic and gameplay deck. So it's really going to elevate any poker night. Uh, the familiar faces keep it a really nice deck to use for magic as well. And that seems kind of fitting when thinking about it as a Shin Lim deck. Now, the handling on this one is really, really nice as well. That foil doesn't get in the way of fans uh, so this is going to be a nice deck that you could use for cardistry as well. Uh, sometimes when you get a foil deck, you'll get a little bit of clumping on fans. This doesn't have any of that. It still fans very beautifully. And that gold foil on the edges just gives you nice little flash as you use this in a fan or, you know, if you use this in uh, packet cuts or anything like that. So uh, definitely going to be really, really nice for that as well. 
So really highly functional deck, beautiful design, luxurious look. There's really not much to dislike about the Regalia from Shin Lim. So that's my look at it. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what other decks you want to see and subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you for the next one.